Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compress a file using WinRAR. So I'm sure that uh, those of you who watch this video heard about WinRAR and its compressing power. But uh, what I have to tell you before doing anything is that the compression highly depends on the type of file. If you have a .exe file, if you have a ISO file, or if you have a .mp4 file, it highly depends on the file type. And of course, on some file types, it will have a more efficient compressing and on other types of files of course the compression will not be as efficient so i have here a .exe file which has around 700 megabytes which we're going to try to compress today and we'll see how much we can compress it using WinRAR. so of course you need to have WinRAR installed on your system that's obvious you can install it through the link down below in this video's description if you're interested. Now what you have to do, just right click on the file that you want to compress and then click on add to archive. Go to default profile, click on profiles and select default profile. Select RAR4 from the archive format. The compression method selected to be the best and from the dictionary size select 4096 KB. And here in the right side where it says archiving options, check create solid archive and check lock archive. Now go to the advanced tab and then click on compression. Select auto for all of these text compression, audio compression and true color compression. For the prediction order type in here 63. For the memory to use in megabytes 1 to 8 and the channels leave it on 0. Make sure enable x86 executable compression and enable delta compression are checked and then click on OK. Go again to the general tab and select where do you want the archive to be created. I'm going select desktop and then just click on OK. The compression will start. Of course, WinRAR will start creating the archive. Be aware that this process will take up longer if you selected a better compression because of course WinRAR will have more work to do to compress your file. We're going to wait and we'll see if the compression worked and what's the file size difference after the compression. So the compression process finished. We have here the archive. Let's check the size. As you can see, the file size difference is not very big, but it is somehow better. As I've said, this highly depends on the type of file. So this process will make your file smaller in other file types. But here, as I've had in .exe file, the compression was not as big as we thought it would be. But feel free to try it on your file and see how much disk space where I will help you save. So this was the video for today. If it was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.